9.5 meters below space and time. This crash is it. So how much interest? Well, I'm going to take this vector equation. Hello and welcome back to Physics Teacher. In this Algadoo lesson, I am going to teach you some new skills in Algadoo as we design experiments to test Newton's three laws. So let's look at Newton's first law. So in this experiment, we can watch what's going to happen. Okay, now you may have seen this done in a class. It's basically the experiment where you pull a tablecloth um, sheet underneath um, all the table settings and the table settings remain untouched. So what I did here was I simply created this block and gave it an initial velocity, which you can do down here. I gave it a large horizontal initial velocity so it slides out really quickly. And what I also did was I went into the materials and I got rid of friction. You can actually include friction if you want to make it more realistic. And as long as you have this moving out fast enough, it'll still work just fine. All right, so there's Newton's first law. Let's go test Newton's second law. So here I have Newton's second law tested. And what I could do is include a plot. So let's go and show plot. And we're going to want to show the horizontal velocity. And as we set it off, we can see that happening. Now we can make the plot a little bit smoother. And also, as I move my mouse along this portion here, which is where um, we had our cart moving horizontally across uh, the, the table there, that is where we should have a constant velocity. So what you can do is you can sort of move your mouse until you get a nice good line of fit for that line. And then it shows you dy by dx, which is the derivative of that function at that point. And that derivative tells us the slope of the tangent. So you can see right there it's 5.961 meters per second squared. Another option is to export as a CSV, bring it into Excel, and have Excel do a line of best fit for this portion of your graph. Now there's something else I did here that I want to show you. I'm not on the plot, but you'll notice when I have the cart launch, it doesn't hit the gear or the pulley. It went right through it. So this is something called collision layers. So if I go up here to settings and show layers, let me remove most of the layers except for A and B. So if I remove B, you'll see that the gear is gone. So the B, I have this gear. If you go down to collision layers, I have it selected as collision layer B. So it's only going to collide with anything else that is also collision layer B. So what else is collision layer B? Well, if I remove A, you can see only the chain and the gear. So only the chain and the gear interact. If I remove B, you can see that the cart doesn't interact. Now, the chain, it's still there because the chain I have on two collision layers. I want it to interact with the gear and I want it to interact with the cart and the block. So by changing collision layers, it's a very um, useful strategy to have certain things not collide with each other if you do not want them to. All right, so there you can test Newton's second law. Now you can change. Now in a classroom, what you would probably do is an experiment similar to this, where you would change the mass of this object. But to properly test Newton's second law, where you're comparing uh, force and acceleration, if you're going to change the mass of one object to create a greater force, you need to have mass as a control in order to test acceleration. So you would have to change the mass of the cart by the same amount in the opposite um, direction. So if you increase this by one kilogram, you'd have to decrease that by one kilogram. However, on Algadoo, we have an easier way of increasing the force without changing the mass. And that is by simply changing the force of gravity. 
So you can change the force of gravity, which will change the force on this object, and test for different accelerations. Last is Newton's third law, our law action and reaction. So in this case, I've set up a thruster. Now thrusters you can get down here and you can attach them to any objects, uh, change the direction and their force, and it'll be a thruster that um, applies an applied force or thrust force on that object in that direction. So it's very useful. Here it won't do anything because I've locked this sign in the background. But when I click play here, you can see it pulls that. Now if you want, you can slow down the simulation a little bit. And if we show forces, what we see, and I'm going to increase those forces, so it's a little bit easier to see here. You can see the force pulling on this object from the chain is 72.78 newtons, and the force pulling on this object from the chain is 72.78 newtons. So it shows you Newton's third law. Now, in order to get that to work properly, what you have to do is you do have to click on that chain and change some of its properties. So the properties you're going to change is one, um, you can increase the restitution, which is the elasticity. So we don't want any loss of energy and decrease the density, right? We want it to be an extremely light chain. So we don't want the chain to have any effect at all. Right? We want to sort of remove it. We want to connect those objects, but we want to remove it from our um, calculations and experiment. Right? And so there's Newton's third law. Newton's second law and Newton's first law. Just for fun, we can go back to Newton's first law and watch it on slow motion. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video, testing out uh, some of those new skills, and I'll see you for the next video.